Dump his ass. Dump his ass. channel my name is Sakshi Shivdasani and I'm here with a very exciting video today I had asked you guys to send me your relationship problems on Instagram and I'm gonna give you guys advice why should y'all listen to my advice y'all shouldn't but I'm gonna give it anyway I've just mastered the art of like talking trash but confidently so yeah if you guys choose to take the advice that's you're bad also you guys when i was going through my dms and stuff uh some of you guys told me that ronak rajani has this series called relationship advice where him and like a bunch of other comedians like give you like relationship advice like uh so i thought i was very original in the concept but actually ronak rajani is very original in the concepts so check out his video like link in bio I like her. She knows I really like her, but she sees me as a friend. How to change from being friend zone? Oh, I have a fun idea. Chedo fai her every day, and then when someone else, like a gunda on the road, chedo fais her, then you go beat that gunda up, and then you protect her, and then she'll finally see you as her like prince charming, and then you guys will be together forever. Okay, the friend zone concept is like. Not a vibe for me, but there's like two ways I see that you can deal with this. Um, you either like just leave her life because you don't want to be friends. Also, if you don't want to be in a relationship, respect her boundaries and you move on. Alag se. Second thing you can do is uh, you continue to be nice to her without any expectations because she's been very clear about where she stands. And uh, if something happens, something happens, but. Please, please don't expect anything in return and then become one of those toxic. Oh, I picked you up from college like every day of the week. Like you, she doesn't owe you anything. Hi, I'm not in a relationship, but there's a guy who I'm getting involved with, and it's supposed to be very casual. But I'm struggling with keeping the expectations low. I mean, I pretend like I don't care, but low key, I wait for his texts and all. I wanna stop this. Oh my god. Who who came up with this? Okay, casual dating is so hard because you end up catching feelings, right? What I suggest is you send him a text and then you like throw your phone like across the Arabian Sea or whatever, and then you cannot reply to him even if he replies. Okay, no, just download a dating app and start swiping. Talk to a few more cute people and then. Uh, he won't be your main hoe anymore. He'll just be like one of the people on your roster. So you can't miss him that much because you have like other cute guys to talk to. I guess I don't know. Like that makes sense because how are you gonna keep it casual if you're just like rocking it with one person, right? How do I act with someone who I ended up in a situation ship with and now he's married? There's a hundred percent chance I'll bump into him someday because he's my cousin's best friend and he's always so nice to me. I don't know how. Should I react if he comes to me and wants to catch up? We ended on a bad note, as you can see. Ooh, become best friends with his wife. Hear me out. Best friends usually hate their best friends' husbands, right? So if you already hate her husband, then at least get like a fun female friendship out of it. Loki, honestly, sounds like you're not over this dude yet, so it's like difficult to be around him. Which I get it, we've all been there. But uh, work on like getting over him, and then you won't have to like overthink the situation and stuff. You know, when he's around, like I'm assuming he can be nice to you because hopefully he loves his wife a lot and he's not being mean to her. But yeah, like I mean, once you're over him, I don't think you'll be like overthinking all this awkwardness. This girl I dated used to give fuck all reasons for having a break. Like, I don't feel like myself when I'm with you. How the fuck do I give a comeback to this? Relationships are dumb. S M H. Yes, relationships are dumb. Also, seems like your girl thinks she's in some imtiaz ali tamasha wake up set type of scene. So, um, seems like one big fat excuse. So, leave her, let her go on her soul searching journey, and you move on and download a dating app and start swiping. Guy dumped me after two months and told me I'm not attractive anymore, and I drain him out. I mean, seriously, I felt like more of a pimple than a girlfriend in his life. 
all men have is the audacity okay nobody else gets to decide your worth first of all second of all uh, your question was also funny so we already know that you're a charming person and this guy was just like using a cop out but instead of just saying that he doesn't want to be in a relationship he decided to be a dick so please don't start doubting yourself because one loser couldn't like man up and tell you that he wasn't ready for a relationship and he had to blame you for something or the other and uh, I have recently started my kickboxing classes so DM me if you want me to throw some punches at this dude or like any dude or any girl guys you can't hit girls so like if you want me to like I'm ready I'm texting these three girls and they're pretty cool but my girlfriend is barely even flirty or anything oh you poor boy that's why I didn't want the tag man tell me what to do first of all I am pissed off for your girlfriend like you'd rather be the boy that said listen I don't want to be in a relationship than be the asshole that cheated okay like just just leave your girlfriend for all of our sakes by all of our I mean me and my 78 personalities because all of us are pissed off with you right now please leave your girlfriend enjoy your single life there's nothing wrong with like the whole life when you're single but please don't cheat that's a very trashy trash thing to do tips to have fun together in a long distance relationship okay so i got a lot of these especially because right now most relationships have become long distance relationships shout out to covid 19 and my answer to this is sexting phone sex telegram sex kabutar se nudes bejo if that's what it comes down to um I don't know like uh, if you're living with your parents like everybody is during like a pandemic fight with your Indian parents and tell them no we want to quarantine together let him come over and stay at our house let her come over and stay at our house because what will happen is even though your parents will a hundred percent say no at least you have guaranteed drama in your house for entertainment for like the next four months or however long this is gonna last. So the guy I'm talking to doesn't like me calling him Bacha while his girl best friends can call him baby whenever wherever like babe make up your mind also the same guy doesn't want to make our relationship public but can post the stories of his girlfriends calling him baby and Jan what is this girl best friend boy best friend ka concept right like they're your best friends and they're your best friends but when you're dating someone aren't they like your number one best friend or whatever i just never got the concept like i mean i guess fine sure but like first of all relationships make everyone so mushy because like when i'm single i'm like who says baby jan and stuff and then when you're in a relationship you're like babe like so I get it. I get why you want to call him these things. He's not letting you call him these things. Talk to him about like why this shit is happening. And if he has no explanation, then dump his ass. Dump his ass. I have been in a relationship for a decade. Damn, congrats. All my relationships combined don't make like half years. My boyfriend compliments me very rarely but says nice things about other girls that he has never said about me in 10 years. Ouch. I don't want to ask him to do it directly. Advice, please. First of all, you're a more patient person than I am right off the bat. Second of all, maybe you can do like a, hey, how does my hair look? Or like, you know, like kind of fish, but like at the same time, like just ask him for his opinion on things and, uh, he really shouldn't be complimenting other girls if he's not doing it for his baby girl, his boo thang, whatever, whatever. You're supposed to be his number one. But uh, yeah, just like go like, um, how you like my outfit today? How you like my makeup today? Just do that and uh, he'll be forced to compliment you, bro. Like This girl had a crush on me and after a while when I started liking her back, she started dating my friend. I, out seduce her boyfriend just do it or uh, become a thruple you guys all become a thruple and uh, have like mad raging threesome <laughs> no uh, listen you will get over her like be happy for your friend and her and uh, tarfa, pyar and all will be happening for a while but then download a dating app and start swiping <laughs>
all right you guys that's all for today's video i am done giving you an advice on something that i know nothing about um thank you so much for watching if you made it this far subscribe turn on that little bell notification thing share it all that jazz that jazz and uh, yeah follow me on instagram and twitter and uh, send me love and kisses and hugs because your girl lonely <laughs> okay bye